I'm Ethereum. Uh, and I'm big finance. You okay? You look really tired. Just calling it a day. <laughs> but it's 4 p.m. Yeah, and I've been working nonstop since 9.30 this morning, so... 9.30? You don't say. Yep. You'd want a little shut-eye, too, if you've been moving billions around the world. Well, actually, I do. You know, stable coins, <laughs> NFTs, loans. People can access me 24-7. What? But look, everyone's different. You should get your rest. You've had a long day. Well, I have, haven't I? Definitely. You'll get after it tomorrow. Tomorrow's Saturday. Monday. You'll get after it again on Monday. And there you have the latest commercial from Bitwise talking about Ethereum ETFs. Is the Ethereum ETF around the corner? We'll be talking about all that in this video. Before we get to any of that, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button if you like this content. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and show us some love. Getting straight into it, taking a look at the latest from the SEC's final review phase. Nate Garassi's tweet highlights that multiple amendments to spot Ethereum ETFs are expected on Thursday and Friday. Will be a furious spot ETH ETF S1 amendments tomorrow on Friday. In his opinion, based on the Bitwise filing yesterday, we just showed you that commercial. Doesn't look like anything noteworthy left for SEC to address or comment on. He's going with a launch before July 4th. So we could be getting an Ethereum spot ETF over the next two to two and a half weeks. Are you ready? Will this be a selling news event like it was for the Bitcoin one? But remember what happened six months after that. Prepare. There's a lot going on in the Ethereum ecosystem. Check out this clip right here. Bitcoin was designed to secure one asset, just Bitcoin. Ethereum is a general purpose platform designed to secure everything else. Stable coins, loans, equities, bonds, derivatives, everything in finance. The word for this is tokenization. People like Larry Fink are saying every stock, bond, and asset will be tokenized on a global ledger. And even he's thinking too small. Tokenization isn't just the assets of the past, it's the assets of the future. AI compute, personal data, social status, and celebrity. Everything will be tokenized. Ethereum is a global computing network to tokenize and program any asset. Ethereum adds property rights to the internet. Now, tokenization can and will happen on other platforms, but Ethereum is positioned as the strongest contender to ride the tokenization wave. There's 100 million people that own ETH, 100,000 developers that actively contribute to the code. Already, Ethereum settles more than the Visa network, and it's just getting started. So now let's talk about ETH. The cryptocurrency of Ethereum is called ETH. It has investable economics, including an algorithmic buyback and dividend program that drives billions per year in earnings to ETH holders. This number grows as the network expands. You can build a DCF model on ETH as you would with any stock. A stock may be like NVIDIA. And because ETH is extremely secure and decentralized like Bitcoin, more and more people are seeing ETH as a complement to Bitcoin as a store of value. While Bitcoin has greater certainty of supply, Ethereum pays a dividend and is deflationary with the upside of an entire token economy. Bitcoin is exposure to digital gold. Ethereum is exposure to everything else. I own both, but if I could only pick one, I'd pick the superset. I'd pick ETH. There you have it in that latest clip. So what do the Bitcoin bros see with ETH? Do we see an investable opportunity in the months to come? Well, look here, we got the moving averages on here and note the red moving average. We double click this. We'll show you what this is, the style. It's SMA3. It's the 200 moving average. So when the 200 is uptrending, the price is uptrending. When it's trading sideways and rolling over, bear market action. Uptrending, bull market, rolling over, bear market. And look what just happened. It's uptrending now. So what's that mean for the Ethereum price action? Let's zoom in. The current time of this recording, we see ETH coming in at $3522, right over $3,500. What's coming next? So look here. We had this bullish cross right here at this 20 moving average. This is on the three-day chart. 20 crossing over the 200. And what is this band here in the middle what we see? This is the bull market support band. We came up and bounced right off of it. And look at we're kissing the 20 moving average and the bull market support band is also moving up towards this downwards resistance point. If we zoom out on the charts once again, where's this resistance point coming from? This resistance point comes, comes from this previous all-time high. And we, we hit our head here, 
We hit our head twice, three times. So once we squeeze above this, what could we see? What do we see? What do we anticipate? So note this right here, this huge rounding bottom. And this could be the handle of the cup that's forming. And where is the technical target taking us to? We already measured this down from this wick down to the cup handle or to, from the lid, from the wick down and where the potential breakout target could be. If we break out of this, how high could Ethereum be taking us? It would take us straight up to this technical target of 16,000. So what that is right now, let's pull out our calculator. So roughly 16,000 divided by 3,500 from where we are right now, that's a 4.5 x from where we are so is this realistic a 4.5 x so look at the market cap once again 430 remember 4.5 x we want to multiply that by 430 billion dollars so this would take us up to 1.9 trillion dollars so this would be almost a two trillion dollar market capitalization for eth is that realistic Let's look at another chart. This is from Trading Shot. Trading Shot's giving you his analysis using the RSI and the Scotastic RSI. And you can see when there's bullish crosses and you can compare cycle to cycle. And what he's seeing is we hit, we're in this upwards channel putting higher highs and higher lows. Why bullish crosses happen. When this bullish cross happens after the midline retest, then we go off to the races. Well, look what happened. We've been trading sideways in this channel. This bullish, bullish test of the midline retest, we got the bullish cross occurring and going to be going off into the races. He's calling for a $12,000 Ethereum, still a huge appreciation. So let's look at the Ethereum market capitalization and see what we can anticipate. So if we see this cup and handle pattern that's playing out, it looks the, it's relatively the same as the price action. And we see this swing low going all the way down to We'll just use the candle buys. This is on the three days. So we got to zoom into this a little bit just to make the candles look a little bit clear. Okay, we're not going to use the wicks. We're going to use the candle bodies from the swing low. We're going to pull this up to the lid to see how high this Ethereum actual market capitalization could go up to. Say we have this breakout from here. How high could we go? Could this go up to that $2 trillion? Look at that. Look at the confluence in this chart. ETH could be seeing a $2 trillion market capitalization, and it might not play out this fast. This could be playing out if we extend these lines, we extend this lid, and this is the actual technical target. We could be seeing this towards the first half of our first quarter of 2025. This could be massive for the Ethereum ecosystem massive for crypto and massive for all of the above this is definitely obtainable but there's one caveat how much money do we have to see pour into the crypto ecosystem if this plays out so let's look at the total crypto market capitalization what do we see what do we anticipate definitely similar charts you see all these charts are sort of rhyming a little bit and you know giving you you know the same type of vibe you see here this looks like this could be a lid. This could be a cup and handle pattern that's forming as well. And look at this looks definitely bullish. As you see this upwards trend, the trends your friends at the end, we hit our head on it once, twice, broke through it. Now we're retesting it once, twice, double bottom and out. And we're retesting. What is it? That bull market support band. We had that 20 crossing over the 200. This chart looks extremely bullish. So this is for the total crypto market capitalization. How high could we be seeing this go? Now, once again, we're going to pull this up to the neckline. And then we're going to come over here to where this breakout point potentially could be. How high could this market capitalization go up to? We're looking at roughly a $9.3 trillion market capitalization. So you'd be looking at a $9 to $10 trillion market cap. Can Ethereum have that much dominance? Let's just say $9.5 trillion. So what's Ethereum dominance have to be in order to get a market capitalization of $2 trillion? Some more math. So to figure out $2 trillion, you got $2 trillion divided by 9.5. So that's roughly, we're going to round it up a little bit, 9.5 trillion. We got to see the Ethereum dominance at 21%. Is this realistic? Well, let's check it out. 
right now the Ethereum dominance is at 18.6%. And what do we see? What do we anticipate? Let's just look at the charts. Let's look at the raw data. Let's dumb down these moving averages. Okay, so we see the 20 moving average is moving back up towards the 200 moving average. So this is definitely a bullish indication. And actually the price action, if we zoom into this, we can see the price action actually got back above this 20 moving average and is retesting that 200. This looks definitely bullish for the Ethereum price action. We wanna see this 20 moving average come up and cross over this so we can see a continuation to the upside. So once again, getting back up to that 21 level, 21% that is, and let's see here. So that's the previous high at the peak. If we come back down to here, if we, this is a wick and a fail right here. If we come back up to this level, could we get back up here by the end of the bull cycle? That's the bigger question. And this is definitely in the realm of possibility. So everything is aligned for Ethereum to have this massive appreciation to the upside to meet that market demand. So Ethereum at $2 trillion, a $16,000 Ethereum. Is that what we're going to see? And then lastly, looking at the Ethereum Bitcoin dominance, what do we see? What do we anticipate? First, looking at the RSI, we've seen the bleed. We've been seeing the trend going down, putting in lows, higher lows, and lower lows. And look what happened. We had a, a confluence area right here where we broke through this downwards resistance, and now we've back tested multiple times. Now, the one caveat of this chart that we need to pay attention to if we get rid of this Gaussian channel, if we zoom into this price action, we just got back above the bull market support band. This is extremely bullish. So if we look back at the charts, this downwards white line, this downwards resistance, this was suppressing the price. We got back above it. Look at this big green candle. This could mean the bottom was in right here. And we're coming back and flipping this bull market support band. So what do we have to pay attention to in the weeks to come? So let's get rid of this bull market support band. You've already seen that. Well, look at here. This confluence of these charts, you can't make this up. The 20 moving average, we've also back tested just now as well. So we want to hold this 20 moving average and get this 20 moving average to start stair stepping its way back up towards this 200. And we want to get back above this 200 level. So this looks definitely like we're ready to have this rounding bottom and get out the depths so Ethereum can outpace Bitcoin. So ETH could be a massive play over the next six to nine months. You heard it here. Technical target for Ethereum, we've showed you in the charts, $16,000 Ethereum. And we've showed you with the Ethereum dominance. We've showed you with the Ethereum market cap. We showed you with the actual Ethereum USD price action along with the ETH Bitcoin comparative. You be the judge, but something massive could be coming for Ethereum. Once again, by Q1 of 2025, we're already almost in July of 24. That's about, that's halfway through the year. So we have six months left. So six to nine months, it could be getting very, very bullish for the crypto ecosystem.